Hey you guys, welcome back. So the top of my head is like a little bit cut off, but the reason is because I'm about to show you guys some larger items that are gonna sit on my lap and probably like take up the span or the width of the screen height-wise too. So um, just kind of bear with me. I know that we all like to see like the full product in view, but that way um, like we can get as close up to the pattern as possible. That's why I have it set up this way. So this is part two of my haul and this, comp this video has three items. Yeah, so there's actually five, but I'm gonna separate those. Um, because I also want to do a comparison so we're gonna just go over three big um, items that I picked up the first one being um, a small beer tote a beer tote and the campus backpack so let's start with the small beer tote um, I have it right here <laughs> so this is the small beer tote um, it's gosh it's beautiful it's vibrant the purples and the pinks and the greens and the aqua the turquoise the lime greens, the yellows, I mean it all just complements each other very well. Like like even if even if Ariel, like let's say we remove Ariel, we remove flounder, we remove all of the little like friends. Um I think this would be my favorite pattern that Vera has ever released. The color combination is beautiful. I don't ever want to switch out of this little bag, but I'm going to switch out to this one pretty soon more than likely um they did a phenomenal job um yeah i'm just so speechless because i love it so much but this is the small beer tote so this one retailed for 95 dollars um i know that they were sold out via bradley has since restocked but today is tuesday so i don't know if they re have if I, I don't know if it's still in stock right now tuesday at three o'clock so let me check that. It is still in stock. So that's good. Um, so your small beer tote, this was my placement. Um, I got Ariel right there, right on the front. I got her there in the back. I also got her off to the side and on this side too. But your small beer tote has a standard 12 inch strap drop and this is what the interior looks like. You get three slip pockets in the front and three slip pockets in the back, and you do also get this little hidden hidden pocket right there. And sometimes um, I've noticed that the hidden pocket does not have the lining as the inside, um, but this one does, thank goodness. So um, you also have a slip pocket and a zip pocket. And this is the ribbon here. And the ribbon is says, um, Beer, Bradley, and Disney. This is also, I believe, in recycled cotton. The recycled cotton, or it doesn't say, oh yeah, it is. Cotton to reimagined. This is this tag here. It, this, this line of um, cotton bags, it feels really nice and soft and like bendy and I think I, I think it's really comfortable. I know a lot of people don't like the recycled cotton. I'm probably in the minority here because I do like it. I feel like I didn't notice a difference. Um, if nobody would have ever told me <laughs> that it was recycled cotton or that it changed and whatnot, I would have never, I would have never known. You know what I mean? So that is the small beer tote. Next, we're going to get into the Vera Tote, which is the larger version. So this is the Vera Tote. I'm going to put them side by side just so you all can kind of see how they differ in size. So the small Vera Tote is more like of an everyday carry. And the Vera Tote is more, I mean, you could use it as an everyday carry. Um, and maybe keep a smaller bag inside like a wristlet or a clutch or something and um, I know Vera Bradley did come out in this pattern with an RFID wristlet so that would be the perfect companion for this. Um, it is big enough to hold your phone, maybe a chapstick and obviously your money so that is really nice um, and it also has like a like you can clip your, I don't, I don't have it, I didn't buy it, but I have one in Disney, and you can also clip like um, your keys to it if you need to. So this Vera Tote also has a 12 inch strap drop. You do get this magnetic closure, I mean not magnetic, this one does not have a magnet, a slip pocket. Did I say that on the last with the Vera? Anyways, it's not a magnetic closure. Some of them have magnets, but this one does not. 
Um, you do get the lining inside. The exterior front has a slip and a zip pocket. Um, the interior has your six standard pockets um, and no zip pockets. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you all my pattern placement. I was really excited that I got this you know, um, this pattern placement in the mail because I do have Ariel here and here. Um, the only funny thing that I noticed, I think it was yesterday, um, this little strip here is sewed upside down. So you can see that Ariel's upside down, but because the pattern is pretty busy, like you can't even, you can't really tell. But the reason why it's upside down is because it continues, it continues, it continues, and continues, and then when you get to this side, it is right side up. So they used, obviously, the same fabric, but I mean, I don't see how else they would do that. But yeah, and this is the back side. So beer totes are my favorite to use for work. I've used them for travel. I've used them as a planner bag. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a huge, avid planner. Um, I like to decorate my planners and all of that with stickers and whatnot. And I like to think I'm a very organized person, but um, it's more like of a stress relief type of thing that I do with my planners. Um, the last product is a campus backpack. So this campus backpack is your standard campus backpack. The configuration is two side pockets which do fit a water bottle. You can keep an umbrella in here. You have a front zip pocket and then you also have a front U-shaped compartment. Um, there are no side gussets but it is pretty thick, like wide in terms of like space. Like you can pack quite a bit in here, not a lot but maybe like a book or a planner. Um, you have two, no, yeah, you have two um, pen slip pockets, another slip pocket over here off to the side, and then you also have two bigger ones, and then this is an ID window uh, right there. Let me see. So this is the main compartment. So the main compartment is pretty spacious. You can see there, a lot of people use backpacks for travel. I've never used a backpack for travel, but maybe I should start <laughs> since I have like three or four of them. I wanna say I have, this is probably my third one, but this is what it looks like inside. You do get two um, mesh slip pockets. At the very beginning when I purchased my first um, campus backpack, I wasn't much of a fan of the mesh um, so pockets inside because I just felt like like they're just I don't know I I didn't want them to rip I have I have to be very like careful with what I put in these pockets but luckily for me um, I've never had an issue with them ripping the one time that I did Vera Bradley's customer service was exceptional like it was they were awesome they were able to send me another backpack so you guys can Rest assured knowing that Vera Bradley's customer service is awesome if you find something wrong with your bag or if you feel like something is not up to like the standard of what it should be. So that is always really nice to know. Um, it's because a tag is in the way. So this is what the zippers look like, just like the other items. It says Disney and Vera Bradley on the opposite end. So the back of the bag, it is two straps, obviously. <laughs> um, they are adjustable and you also have a trolley sleeve that you can, you know, kind of slide over some rolling luggage. And then you have a little hidden pocket here um, that does kind of reach all the way to this end of the bag. And I want to say, if I go like this with my hand, this is how wide it is. So maybe like six inches width, um, like that. So the last little feature that this backpack has is a tech compartment. So if you have an iPad or a laptop, you can stick your tech in there. My MacBook 13, MacBook Pro, it's a 13 inch MacBook Pro, does fit, does fit in here nicely. So does my iPad Pro, which is 12.9 inches. So 
that is the campus backpack so that kind of completes this big haul video um, I am going to be filming a video on the medium duffel and the reactive drawstring tote um, but I'm going to do those in two separate videos so if you guys would like to see more go ahead and just you know hit subscribe and you should get notified when the videos will pop up or just keep checking back if you don't feel like subscribing but I feel like you should guys please <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, you can also find me over on Instagram. Like I said, I tend to post a little more frequently. Um, like as soon as I get items, I show them off. Um, not all the time because I've been pretty busy, but usually when I don't have much going on, it's something that I do do. And I do like stories on my bags and whatnot. So if you guys would like to see that, you can follow me over there too. Um, thank you guys. Have a great day.